May manufacturers turn to CNC routing and milling machines for custom-built parts. But what is the difference between a CNC router and a CNC mill? They both perform similar functions but have very different characteristics. You use them with different materials, and you have to be mindful of their production capabilities as you work with them. Both machines are computer controlled. That's the acronym CNC, which stands for Computer Numerical Control. These computerized machines gained popularity in the middle of the 20th century. CNC machinery run off of computer design programs, called computer-aided design, CAD or computer-aided manufacturing, CAM. Both routers and mills work by moving a cutting tool around the workpiece across several axes. The tool makes cuts into the workpiece, revealing the desired shape. These cuts can include sculpting or contouring in addition to complete cuts. You can use CNC cutting machines to create a variety of products, from cozy kitchen chairs to tiny electronic parts. Both routers and mills use a tool called an end mill or router bit, which has a wide range of capabilities. Many projects will require more than one end mill or router bit to achieve the right combination of cuts. What is a CNC router? CNC routers distinguish themselves by the materials they can handle. CNC routers aren't designed to cut hard materials like steel and titanium. Instead, you generally use routers to cut softer materials like plastic, foam and wood. Some routers can also work with soft metals like aluminum. One reason CNC routers can only handle softer substances is because of the way they deliver power to the cutting tool. Routers cut much faster than mills but they have less torque since they use rotational speed to drive the force to the tool. Routers quicken the machining process and are ideal if you need to make multiples of a product. While a runner's revolutions per minute, RPM is much faster than a mills. Mills are the better choice for industrial grade materials since routers don't have the same amount of power. At the same time, Routers offer fast reproduction when you need consistent manufacturing abilities, keeping cutting time to a minimum. However, CNC routers aren't as accurate as milling machines, so mills are best for projects requiring high precision levels. Router stationary workpiece design is partially responsible for their lower precision capabilities. CNC router workspace and tools The cutting surface of a CNC router machine is often wide enough to accommodate the large sizes of many softer materials. For example, if you're cutting into wood, you might use a board that's several square feet. While routers have large cutting areas, their Z-axis clearance is often more shallow, which can cause difficulties when trying to fit some workpieces in the machine. However, routers come in many sizes and types. You can use small machines for DIY projects and larger machines for industrial applications. Router bits work like drill bits. Different tool shapes and sizes will influence how your cut looks when finished. You can have straight bits, rabbiting bits, sheffer bits, beading bits, and molding bits, among many others. Each bit has a different shank and maximum speed to help increase stability and smoothness and decrease chatter. Router bits dull over time, so you'll have to keep an eye on them. Higher quality bits may last longer due to better materials. Why choose a CNC router? Since routers have large work surfaces, their design is less rigid than bells. Even so, this spatial flexibility gives routers their high machine speeds. Routers are also ideal for cutting pieces from large sheet materials. Depending on the size of the router and materials you use, you can often even cut the edges of a sheet without repositioning the material or reprogramming the machine. You can use a router to create large format items like signs, wood carvings, and cabinet fronts. Why choose a CNC mill? Since CNC mills have a small cutting area, their cutting tool range of motion has a small scope as well. While this compact design limits the size of the materials you can use, it also makes the machine more rigid, giving it the strength it needs to cut hard materials. This rigidity and tighter range of motion also allows CNC mills to cut more accurately. CNC mill precision is ideal for creating parts that require tight tolerances. Mills are most useful when creating small parts that fit into larger machines or other assemblies. You may even combine router and mill production capabilities to create large, lightweight components and more intricate parts for the same product all in one shop. CNC Router VS Mill What's the difference? These versatile machines can get a lot done if you use the right one for the job. Some of the key differences between CNC mills and CNC routers are Materials One of the most significant differences lies in the materials you can use with these machines. Depending on the goal of your project, you may need to consider just how you'll be machining it. You can cut soft materials, like wood, foam, and plastic, on either but these materials typically cut better on routers. You should cut any hard metal, such as titanium and steel, on a milling machine, as it's the only CNC machine that can cut such sturdy materials. 
Machining speed. You'll need to factor machine speed into your decision. If you need to create many copies of a part, a router will operate much more quickly, allowing you to develop them in a shorter time frame. A CNC mill, on the other hand, will offer a matched precision, but its cutting process will take much longer. Component type. If you're making a large order, such as parts for an airplane, you will need a precise machine to produce high-quality parts. The precision required for the crucial functioning of large-scale machinery needs the detail offered by a CNC mill, preferably one with five or more axes. Accuracy. Precision is an essential component of machining parts. If you need parts for highly sensitive applications, such as equipment parts, a CNC mill provides much more accurate cuts than CNC routers. Military, medical, and aerospace industries especially need to consider part precision. When lives are on the line, micrometer differences can be vital. Cutting area. Since the machines have different space options, you'll have to consider your project starting point. If it needs heavy detail, a CNC mill can offer a deeper Z-axis for deeper cuts in the work. If your source material is very large or white, such as large blocks of wood or planks of foam, you may have to opt for a router, which has a large cutting area. Similarities between routers and mills With both machines, you get the benefit of a computer-controlled device. CAD software eliminates human error from the physical cutting process. You can recreate the same piece over and over again. Or, if you only need to create one part, you can be confident the machine will make it to the exact specifications you program. Measurements are accurate, and cuts are sharp and defined. CNC machining turns the software rendering into a completed piece in whatever material you've designated. CAD software requires skilled workers to execute the designs efficiently and effectively. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.